Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down another booster cracking video and today we are finally cracking into one of these new products of TCG that I've been amassing here on my table. We are opening up some Wii Cross. Finally, I've been doing a bunch of shorts on the channel lately of opening a bunch of random packs from a bunch of different sets. If you haven't seen those yet, go check them out. They're a lot of fun and it's got me stoked to open up a whole box of these things. So we have one of the newer sets here, Stand Up Diva. Looks to be a lot of fun. I've opened a couple of the packs already too, and I've already gotten some neat stuff from these things. They're super cool. Got some really awesome artwork and foils. So this is the box. It looks, again, really dope. Some awesome looking characters and art. So I'm just super excited to open up a full box of these and just see what kind of insanity we can pull. So let's get into it. These things aren't sealed like extremely well. There's just one little piece of tape that's holding them in. So we just gotta crack that and then open it up. Let's see, ooh, we get some little place markers that you can punch out. Some little punch out things, cool. All right, what else we, oh wow, we even get, we even get some sleeves. How awesome is that? That's super cool, I didn't know that. 20 packs in these boxes, I believe, so let's start getting into these suckers. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Alrighty, first pack, as I feel like I'm kind of losing my voice here, which sucks right when I wanted to start filming for the day. And I'm getting calls, oh boy, everybody's just, interrupting my filming process here. All right, first card, there we go, our first pack. Let's get into it, wow. All right, still getting calls. <laughs> All right, there we go, there's our L-Rig, our first L-Rig I believe is what they're called, a rare, and then behind it should be a, oh no, we got one more, okay. Another cool looking L-Rig, and then a foil. Really cool card. Look at look at just how dope these things are. They're so sweet looking. And the ones we really want to look out for are like signature cards. I believe there's some kind of like parallel cards like in Vanguard where there's very cool looking alternate art variants that go for a lot of money. But anything with a signature is gonna be perfect to find. Second pack, again, of these all come from Japan. So I'm not gonna know the names of these cards at all, but like look at look at that artwork. So cool. Just amazing looking artwork on that one. And all right, let's keep going. Now this, oh, oh wow, look at that Wolf Second Verse. Oh, that is very, look at the artwork is just so impressive on these. Even that, really, really cool. And let's see this one. Ooh, this looks like it's just a common foil. It's so probably not gonna be worth too much, but there is a lot of value in these sets and I'll explain why. A lot of these sets are printed in Japan and there is a smaller print run and anything that gets its way to the US has some more value because there is not a lot of people opening these things. And that being said, the print, the set runs are a little bit smaller too, as, along with the booster boxes. So all those things combined kind of help with the prices being a little bit better on some of these maybe cards that you would find in like other card games wouldn't be like super expensive. That's a really crappy way to explain it, but is that like a mermaid? Oh my goodness, my voice is just going nuts. This is awesome. Look at this Elrig, that is freaking sweet. Oh, we didn't actually get a foil on this one? That's crazy, no foil. I kind of felt like you were guaranteed to get a foil in each pack, but I could be wrong on that, I guess. So let's cruise into the next one here and see what we can find. Look at that crazy snake artwork. I've gotten this card before, which is pretty dope. She is a sick character, gotta say. Just really sweet looking. And behind it, looks like we got a rare foil full art, which is pretty sick, thrilling. Actually printed in English. That's really, really cool. Speaking of English cards, Weecross is finally printing their first English set ever with the new Diva set that's coming out in a few months. So that's gonna be very exciting. I've already pre-ordered a couple boxes, so you can uh, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that when it comes out. You know I'll be opening that up ASAP for you guys. So let's keep going into this and see what else we can get here. Oh my goodness, look, oh, cool robot girl. Let's <laughs> look freaking Mega Man or Robo Man. All right, there's another rare, pretty sweet behind it. That is, okay, it's, it's not a foil as well. All right, so it doesn't seem like we get foils in every pack, but just look at how cool that artwork is. Like, come on, that is so sick. I'm loving these packs. I'm just having too much fun on my shorts opening up these packs. They're just so cool to do. And you guys seem to enjoy them as well. So thank you for the support on those. Uh, keep checking out the videos because I'm going to be making more. So let's keep going into this one. We got like, it looks like another robot girl. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we got that card before. Another rare. And then, oh, we got, ha <laughs> ha. We got the Robot Girl Full Art Foil. That is pretty sweet. So that, I'm excited. I think this one's up there. This one might be like 
I think I saw it for maybe five, seven bucks. I don't know, I'll have to recheck it, but that's pretty good. Next one, let's go. Woo, we got this crazy looking fur girl thing. I don't know what's going on with her. She's an interesting character. We got, uh, I don't know what that, I don't know what half of these are. <laughs> I wish I could read uh, the Japan text so I could tell you guys a little bit more. But there's our rare, and there's an, I believe, I don't even want to call these all rigs. I think I'm just confusing games now at this point, which is probably pretty bad of me. So I apologize in advance. There's our last card, just a rare, no foil. Ooh, next one. Come on, let's get the good stuff here. Let's get the extreme rares. Gotta say, look at that. Look at that artwork. That is so cool. All right. It's almost chibi. It's like going on the edge of chibi artwork, but it's not quite there. All right, there is a cool Diva Bunny Girl. Love it, re-edit, DJ Love It. That's DJ Love It. All right, very cool. Turn off R, and then we've got our last card, the MC Lion Drop. Next, let's go, come on. Guys, give me some more information on We Cross here. If you know any little tidbits of information or nuggets that I wouldn't already know since I'm still pretty new to opening these, let me know in the comments. I would appreciate it. All right, let's keep going in and seeing. Look at that. That's like some Sword Art Online stuff right there. That is sick looking. Absolutely phenomenal. Cool looking pose on that one. And then there's a sweet one. Holy cow, that is a secret rare full art foil. And dang, that is super cool. I mean, come on, guys. This artwork is so incredible. Mixed with the holographic and the foiling, it just really makes everything pop. You know what's not popping beautifully is my voice right now. Holy cow, this is, this is killing me. I don't know what happened. Ooh, need to go drink some water. All right, come on, let's get into this one. I don't get this girl. She's got this weird head of hair or grass of hair, hair grass, hair grass. She's like Mother Earth. Whoa, look at this one. That is some really cool artwork. I love the text that they did on this one too. It's really sweet. All right, behind it, the rare, and then we've got another rare non-foil one. Don't be shocked if some of these non-foils go for some money too, though. It's pretty interesting how these prices have been working. So you may see prices come up on the screen for stuff that's not even foil that'll have some good value still, honestly. All right, let's keep cruising in to this next one here. We got this, we got that. Ooh, that's a cool looking full art L card. I don't know what the L stands for. I'm gonna have to find more information out on that. And that's our last one. It's the rare, it's the mermaid girl. Next pack, in we go. Come on, here it is. Oh, that is, that is sick artwork. Oh, come on. So cool to see this set, finally. And not one pack at a time over several days. All right, there's our L card, our nice rare. And then, ooh, ooh, this might be something. I've never seen one that was a sideways card before. What does it say on it? P-I-P-L? Ooh, this, this, this might have some value, honestly. I've not seen a card that's Sideways like this, and it's pretty open and spacious. Life loop respects, pretty sweet. Cruising through into the next, come on now. Let's get that big hit. We just want that big hit. Come on, let's see it. We got a rare, we got another rare. She is dope looking. And then, ooh, ah, oh, it's just a common, but this is, I, I can't even be mad. Look at just how phenomenal this is. Oh my gosh, that's such a cool character. Next one, let's go. Come on, open it up, there it is. Swoop off the garbage, there we go. All right, getting into uh, seeing a lot of duplicates now, but that makes sense, yes. Now I've gotten this card before in one of my shorts and I ain't mad that I got it again because it is really freaking sweet. I love, love this character design. And if we do get the foil of her, it's definitely worth our while. It's an expensive foil, so that'd be sweet. Oh, woo, woo. but we got this one. Holy cow. Yeah, this is going to be some value right here. That's for sure. That is a, is this a secret too? See, it. we had one that said uh, SR, which I assumed was secret rare. But this one says SCR, which has got to be a secret rare. So that is pretty crazy. And uh, it does have a number. Another thing to look out for is with the numbers, you know you got something absolutely insane if it just says the WXD or WX set number and then a bunch of question marks, that's when you know you got something insane. But still, this is absolutely a sick card. All right, let's keep going. Seems like our luck is on at the end of the box here. We're getting down to it after all. It is gonna go fast. Oh, look at that card, wow. Vogue 3 diagram. <laughs> I'm just reading the only English words I can find, basically. Ooh, and we got a foil version of her. 
She is pretty sick and it is a rare, beautiful looking artwork with the foil. That is really cool. Next one, rip it. Come on, come on, there it is. All right, hey, there's the common girl that we got it for. Look how much they cut off on this common card for, compared to that full art. Insane, insane. So I am not, I am not mad that we got that full art because that really is impressive. There's our rare that we just got in the foil. And then let's see what's behind it. Nice looking one, very cool. And this is an SR, so maybe it's a super rare. I don't know how it goes in this set completely. Again, I'm still learning this stuff, you know. It's all new to me still, but I am just having a blast with it. We've only got four packs left, let's do it. First one of the four, let's go. What do we got here? Look at that artwork. That would be a sick full art. If that comes in a full art, I want it, because that looks amazing. All right, let's keep going. I've gotten that one. We have, oh, this is Vogue 2. Okay, so we saw Vogue 3, now we saw Vogue 2. We got the little devil girl. We've seen her before, and we have not seen this one. She's got like this Mad Hatter vibe. Is that a spider? It's like some demon spider coming out of her hat. That is crazy. Really cool. Man, love these things. Next one. Let's jump into it. We got a little shy girl here. I don't know what she's doing. Ooh, a skateboarder girl. Very cool. I like that. Uh, manta ray girl thing? I don't know what's going on with that either. That is interesting. Uh, very, very cool. Kill a kill style right there, I think. And then uh, thrilling again. Let's see. Is this our last one? This is our last one. Non-foil rare. We got this one before, I believe. Two packs left. Let's get into this one right here. The second to last one, I guess you could say. Let's go into this one. See all these repeats. Ooh, not a repeat here. Beautiful looking card. Definitely has some good value in the foil. I know that. And then we've got this one behind it. Ooh, Okay, okay, we got some swimsuits going on. It's always a good sign when you find some anime girl in a swimsuit. It's probably gonna have some value. Again, with the P-I, G-G-G, the three G's right here. I don't know what that means, but pretty sick looking. We'll see how much that goes for. Last pack, let's get into it. Woo, last one already. I knew this was gonna go quick, man. It is kind of a bummer that there's only so many packs in these boxes, but you know what? They make up for it with some quality here. Which, uh, by the way, quality of the cardstock and everything is not bad at all, so I can't really complain. Ah, VJ Wolf 3, third, third verse, third verse Wolf. All right, very cool, very cool looking. Let's see what's behind, though. Oh, stellar. Oh, wow, that's cool. Another SR foil hollow, whatever you want to call it, but dang, look at that. I feel like that's a pretty good one to end on. I don't know, could be wrong, but I feel that. I feel pretty good about it. All right, let's go into some pulls of the day. First up, we're gonna start with our non-foils that I know should have some value even in non-foils. This main character girl is gonna have a little bit of value along with this card. I think it's even like six bucks, even in a non-foil, which is crazy because I pulled that one before. We move on to some foils. It's a rare, thrilling foil card, pretty sweet. I'm taking a chance on this one. I'm just, it's just guesswork basically with these, okay? Next up, we got one of the SRs, pretty sick. Uh, Magic Cat Girl with the creepy tarantula, super rare or whatever you want to call it, very nice, should have some value. The last card we got, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers for this one, pretty sick, but I think the last two that I think will have the most value is this one, this SR foil holographic, and then this one right here, I really think should have some good, good value, so I'm excited to see where that one comes out to. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the opening of We Cross. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below letting me know that you support the series, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. As you can see, I got boxes over here, I got boxes over here, I got some nice rare sets over here that go for a little bit more, and I'm excited to crack into those too because they're super cool. More shorts coming of those openings as well, but thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more We Cross, and we will see you guys in the next video.